It's time to get your game face on, because Mike's about to dive into your game channels in today's weekly review. My game face looks like Cthulhu. What is up, everyone? My name is Zesty Mike, and today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Can you tell what? You can't? Hmm. Anyways, the moment you've all been waiting for, the time where I get to critique your guys' game channels. Now, how can I tell that this is the moment you guys have all been waiting for? Well, possibly because about three-fourths of you who submitted a video to the critique filed it under gaming category. So chances are you guys want to see some gaming critiques on here. So first off, we have Taser Community Gaming and their video first look at the Four Kings Casino and Slots. They review this game with superb quality. The voiceover sounds extremely professional, super clear, and of course, as always, the accent helps. Now you asked me to critique the overall quality of the video. The intro is cool and the outro is well done. However, the music that you used in the intro seemed to be a go-to intro music. While I was actually scrolling through people to critique for this week's episode, I actually found one other person using the exact same music. So if two in 10 people are using this music, I think it might be a little bit oversaturated. So maybe try to commission something original for your channel so it won't be quite as recognizable. As for the voiceover itself, it sounded pretty clear. However, there was a bit of popping here and there. Now, it wasn't that bad, but as I was listening for it, I could hear it. I'd recommend getting a pop filter for your microphone or simply a sock. Now, if you've already done these things, try scooting away from the mic just a tad and it should fix the problem. Now, lastly, I'd like to see a bit more emotion in your voice. Laura. Now, it sounds super clear and professional and you can definitely tell that you know what you're doing. Hello and welcome to Taser's First Look the game review series where we take a close look at games in development. But it kind of sounds like something that you would see on like a National Geographic type show. And yes, it is that good. So that is kind of a compliment. But as for a video game where you're trying to encourage people to check out this game, I feel like it lacks excitement. So if you're trying to get people excited over a game, you should be excited as well. Now it is okay. Now, it is okay to have some fun with it. That was unplanned at all. But anyways, yeah, it is okay to have some fun with it. So remember, if you're excited, the viewer will be excited as well. Next up, we have FIFA Hyper and his video playing pro clubs, episode one. In this video, he plays FIFA and tries to work his way up to a pro club. His video is pretty well done. 1080p, good quality, well paced. He keeps talking throughout it and he uses face cam. Not only does he use face cam, but he sports clothes that are fitting to the sport. It definitely helps sell the FIFA theme. Now, as for things to improve on, I'd suggest cross off the sides of your webcam so it doesn't really take up more space than it needs to. And secondly, coming from the picky filmmaker in me, there's a rule in filmmaking where your nose should never be right next to the edge of the screen. For instance, like... Like, like this. It's distracting the viewer because the viewer often follows your eye line, and if you're looking off screen, that means you're looking at something that's not taking place in the video. So what I'd suggest is either moving your webcam to the other side so you're looking at what you're playing, or change up your webcam so you're actually looking at the game that you're playing. Lastly, the music that you use under the game is an appropriate level, and it sounds pretty good. However, when something impactful happens, you place extra music on top, and those are not equaled out very well. They're quite loud, and I can't hear what you're saying. So what I'd recommend is just pay more attention your audio and make sure that you can understand. As always, remember that someone else watching this for the first time might not understand it as well as you who actually created the video and are able to watch it with and without music. Next up, we have SJHD Clash of Clans Gaming. Now for this video, he asked for me to review his commentary and thumbnails, so it isn't really pointing out anything in particular in the video. So first off, thumbnails. I think you definitely have thumbnails on lock. The great thing about Clash of Clans is that it's extremely popular and it's highly searched. Now being a viewer searching for Clash Clash of Clans, I would definitely click on any of the videos featuring the characters from the game. Now, not saying that the thumbnails with you are bad, but as a viewer who doesn't know you, I'd be more inclined to click a thumbnail with characters because I'm searching for the game, not you in particular. However, as you start to build your brand and become the name for Clash of Clans, it'd be very important to smack your face on as much thumbnails as possible because you'll gain more credibility. So in short, they all look great and they all serve great points in different situations. Now, as for the commentary, it's good quality and you seem to know what you're talking about and above all else you seem confident in what you're saying. If you believe in what you're saying then the viewer will believe in what you're saying as well. The only thing I have to suggest is don't be afraid to cut. I feel like there might have been a few areas that you can cut out to save some time in the video. But other than that I think you did a great job so good job. But anyways guys that's it for me today. Be sure to click the videos in the sidebar whichever side it is since we changed up camera angles I don't know what it is anymore. It's one of these sides. There's a side by a promise. You can actually see a listing of everyone that was featured in this video. Click it and watch their videos to the full extent and check them out, show them some love and say, hey, what up? You're a cool dude. I like frogs. And of course, if you want to see a full playlist of tips and tricks, you can click the link in the sidebar. 
And if you want to submit your own video onto the show, be sure to use the form down in the description below and do not spam your channel in the comments. The comment section is for love, learning, and growing together. And lastly, if you want to see more of me, you can click the links down in the description below and you can see all my social medias and channels and such. But anyways, guys, that's it and we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.